morning everyone so it's now Tuesday oh sorry I've just looked out the window and it's really rainy you know that really it's that really oh, it's that really fine wet rain which I know doesn't make sense but yeah I don't want that because I'm now going to meet a friend and um, we're going off for some breakfast and then we were planning to go for a little walk um, in a park that's near to us but I'm not sure that that will happen, so it might actually just be breakfast and breakfast. Um, so maybe we'll just have to see how the weather goes on whilst we're there, but it's not looking good at the moment. Um, so yeah, it could just be eating lots of food and drinking lots of coffee instead. So I'm now just walking up to my friend's house and then uh, she's driving today so I'm going to hop in the car and head off for our breakfast so I'll try and get you some clips to show you what it's like. As you can see I've got um, a load of cushions here, there, there, everywhere. I've just been up to the caravan um, to empty out the cushions and it was such hard work it took me ages it was like doing a jigsaw puzzle trying to get them to all fit in the car because I was on my own I managed it though luckily it took me forever and it was so difficult and hard work so now I've got the task I've just got back home and I've got to try and get them into the house um yeah I'm not looking forward to that so I'm going to do that now and by the way um sorry I didn't actually get any um filming or anything when I went out for breakfast this morning with my friend we were just having such a nice time chattering away I just thought it would look a bit odd if I just suddenly whipped out the camera um, and did some filming I'm just looking up at the sky it looks so nice I'll show you in a minute how it looks but it's absolutely gorgeous the clouds are really bizarre I'm not quite sure what these sort of clouds are called um, but they're not the they're not like the fluffy cotton wool ones but I'll show you what they look like right now. Good evening. So I just wanted to show you this. You know, I said earlier that I'd been up to um, the caravan. Sorry, I'll have to put a light on. Um, oops, wrong one. Um, oh, that was bright. So, you know, I said I'd been up to the caravan earlier today to um, empty out all the cushions. I think, did I say that? I think I did. Oh, yes, I did, because I showed you them in the, in the car. Well, anyway, I've got them into the house now, and I hadn't realised how much room they were going to take up, so look at all of that. There's so many, and I have no idea now where we're going to put them. I think we're going to have to put them into the spare room, so any guests... Oh, wrong light again. Any guests are going to have to sleep. Um on the caravan cushions I think so uh, yeah that's my job for tomorrow is trying to find somewhere to put them all and uh, now I've got a lovely job of having to wash my hair which I just I hate doing too but I can get my pyjamas on and then I'm going to enjoy a nice glass of gin um, and I've got a new glass to put it in um, and no it's not a gin glass I need to get a gin glass but I just I hate using having my gin in a wine glass because it just feels wrong drinking it from a wine glass so I found another glass it's a very bizarre one and you will all laugh but I like it and it actually makes quite a cute little glass so I will show you when I get my gin in a little while after I've washed my hair excuse the frizzy mop just been washing it and I'm very sorry, excuse the um, makeup free face. I know I look an absolute mess, but I said I would show you my glass that I was going to use for my um, gin and I have it here. Now, don't laugh. I'll tell you why I'm using this. So, I don't have a gin glass and like I said before, I was fed up of using a wine glass. So I was thinking, oh, I know, a nice tumbler would be good. And we haven't any tumblers. So I'm, um, what's the word? Oh, I'm improvising. That's the one. And I'm using this. Yes, it's a jam jar. A very tasty make of jam as well. But 
I actually quite like this as a gin glass. I think it's quite cool. And uh, so I'm going to go and enjoy my gin with my makeup free face and my completely and utterly frizz bomb style hair. Oh, and it's the perfect size for those little hang on, pre mix cans of gin, which is what I have used. Ta da! Look, Gordon's pink. And uh, that's my new favourite tipple. And the whole of that can fits just in there, so it's perfecto. So, yeah, I'm going to go and enjoy my gin. When I went shopping yesterday, um, I was a bit naughty and I had another look at all of the clothes like I always do. I bought some more pyjamas, I'll show you them later because um, they're upstairs and I can't bother to go up and get them. And then um, I also bought another jumper. Now this one, it's not it's not Christmassy one, they had all the Christmas jumpers out but they were so nice. I was just in Christmas heaven. Um, but this, the one I bought is actually more like a wintry jumper rather than Christmas. So. I'll show you because it's so gorgeous, look, and it's sparkly as well, so look, I can't really show you, can you see like the sequins on there, and then it's that really cool thing at the moment where if you brush them up, it goes a different colour, so it's, it's so cool, and it's just so me, so I'm just in love with this one, and um, yeah, you can never have too many jumpers, can you, that's what I always say, anyway, but, um, yeah, my new favourite. I don't have these Cocoa Pops very often because I know they're not good for me. But I bought them the other day because I hadn't bought them for ages. And I know my son likes them. And then this morning when I was getting my breakfast, I thought, do you know what? I think I'll have the Cocoa Pops too. So when I've had my breakfast, here, um, my husband and I are off to um, into Leeds today. We're going to go to the Christmas market. Sorry, my nail was pinged off. I won't do it the other way because that would be naughty. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to the Leeds Christmas Market. I can't wait because it's our first trip to the market this year. Um, and then I think, yeah, I'll enjoy my mulled wine and get a bratwurst. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, I don't know. So whilst we're there, I'm going to get a little bit of filming for you so that those of you who haven't seen it um, will be able to see what the Christmas Market like is like in Leeds. So uh, yes, I'll see what I can get for you all to um, give you a taster of it. We've just arrived at the car park in Leeds. I'm all excited. So it's only 10 o'clock. So we're going to go and have, oh, I heard a funny noise. We're going to go and get coffee first and have a look around the shops, maybe buy some Christmas presents. And then we're going to the Christmas market and I can get my mulled wine. I'm so excited. I didn't realise I was recording it. But I'm just going to get a clip. You can actually, um, do you want to take a photo? Got crepes. That's something else I'd like to get as well. 
know when he sings Christmas songs. everybody sorry that sounded really weird um so i just wanted to do this as like a, a roundup thing does that make sense um to this the end of this quite christmasy vlog because i am feeling so so christmasy and um i do feel like it's beginning to feel a lot like christmas right now and i know it's not a christmasy jumper but i showed you this morning I so love this jumper and um, yeah I'm classing it more as like a wintry jumper rather than the Christmas one which is why I get away with wearing it because it's wintry not Christmassy although actually I think wearing a Christmassy one would be okay and I wanted to quickly show you sorry it'll go a bit dark now um, I wanted to quickly show you my oh so far up these stairs the um, you know the pyjamas I was talking about oh dear hang on there we are. Um, so the pyjamas I was talking about that I bought um, yesterday when I bought this beautiful jumper as well. So um, I wanted to show you, oh I'm trying to hide all the mess, oh sorry. Um, so, oh hang on a minute, it's inside out, I'll be back. So, these are the gorgeous pyjamas, look. Brrr that I got yesterday from Asda, they were, um, look, I just love these pyjama bottoms and the bottoms on there, look. Um, so yeah, these were £12.50. So anyway, yeah, I, um, hang on, oh, oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, I think £12.50 for pyjamas like these is an absolute bargain. And as you can see, I've miraculously, ta-da! changed into the pajamas look oh, i love them so much um so yeah 12 pound 50 for some pajamas which are obviously long sleeved and i can wear them whenever i want they don't have to just be christmas ones um because really it's just talking about winter so yeah anyway that's what i'll be doing i'll just be wearing them whenever i like and I've just made myself a cup of tea. So I'm just going to sit down here and talk to you for a few minutes. Um, just as I say goodbye. But look. So I can show you properly now. Uh, I just love these pyjama bottoms. They're just so cosy. And because they're long sleeves, I don't actually have to wear... Ta-da! I don't have to wear a dressing gown either, which is so much nicer. Um, so yeah, I'm just in love with these pyjamas. And... Um, my now I can't remember whether I told you or not the jumper you know the one with the pink reindeer sequin things on so that was only £10 which again is just another brilliant bargain um, Asta is just so cool um, that's such it's really not a good thing to say is it that someone of my age shouldn't be saying that um, my son would tell me off so much um, so yeah anyway I can't remember whether I told you it was £10 or not but yeah that jumper was £10 ooh sorry covered you up um i also one thing i wanted to show you was um one of the little gifts i got today from the christmas market but then i thought i probably shouldn't do it just in case my fabulous friend miss t sees this because i don't want to give away to her what i have bought for her as part of her present so 
I'm not going to show you all, sorry, but it is adorable, so cute, and um, yeah, I'm just sort of waffling on now, aren't I? So yeah, I'm going to now, get my husband's out, so I'm going to now get the laptop, and I'm going to have a go look through these video clips that I've got for this vlog, which um, is quite a Christmassy one, so I am now really beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Or it feels a lot like Christmas. You know what I mean anyway, don't you? Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a look at that and start editing and seeing what I have got. And um, hopefully it will be enjoyable for you all, who knows? And if any of you get to, well, no, hopefully a few of you will get to this point. If you do, thank you so much, as always, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and enjoyed the christmas -iness. Another word I've possibly made up there. I don't know. And um, I'm not sure when. I'm going to try and do one each week. So hopefully you'll see see one again at some point next week. Uh, blah, blah, next week. I can't talk properly tonight. Um, but anyway, yeah. Until next time. Thank you all for watching. And see you then. Bye for now.